What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your Dwayne or The Rock Johnson of the Resistance Line. Hope you're doing sensational, marvelous, and majestic on this Monday. The broader market, SPY. Interesting to see how today is going to close. If it closes with a small bullish candle, that will be a bull candle below the 10 EMA. This would be a little bit of a double top, and that could make for a potential fun breakdown later in the week, even if it's for a day or two. Long-term moving averages, we are below the 200 on the SPY. So all of this up in here could act as a resistance, and I will be keeping an eye certainly on a continuation lower, potentially. That's what I see also in the Qs. Small little bull candle. So far, it's an inside candle, and that's going to keep things very, very interesting. All right, looking at some individual stocks, I had a request for TEAM, take a symbol T-E-A-M. And what I'm really interested in this one is also a 10 EMA play. This is a tweezer top, almost a perfect tweezer top pattern. We broke above the 200. I'm sure some people looked to took a break out there and that failed. And we have a small, small, tiny, tiny candle right now today. So if we take out the low of this candle, I would assume that TEAM likely does continue a little bit lower. The 200 still acting as a little bit of resistance. And the weekly chart, you can kind of see if you're using the exponential moving averages, how, how I had a big drop. And right now we're having a compression. So this sideways movement with all the moving averages pressing it down, I'm just keeping an eye out for a potential roll lower. And the 100 simple on a weekly is at 255.89. Now, granted, this is a stock that is holding up pretty well relative to all the other growth names, only down in its prime back in early January, um, 30%. So can it go a little bit lower? Yes. In fact, it's never actually hit the 100 SMA on the weekly. So if it does, probably a good buying spot from there. Square, still battling, still low, still a great company. Uh, today, it's down 60% from its previous highs. And yes, it will accumulate and chop around for quite some time. Earnings is around the corner. And just watching all of this bear volume come in down here at some lows, huge updates, huge down days, and I still am accumulating some shares on Square. Probably tomorrow or the next day, if we get a little bit of a pullback, I might buy two or three more shares. Right now at 215 shares on Square, just tiptoeing in, averaging small, really, really being patient on this one, allowing it to do its thing. This is a big, big accumulation compressionary event. So if earnings gaps down on Square, I can assure you it will get absolutely road smoked. And there'll be a lot of selling that will come in on Square. Otherwise, again, just being really, really cautious as we trade up and to, especially if we get back up into 127, I will absolutely get into a collar on Square over earnings. Uh, Palantir, PLTR, being renamed Pile of Tears. This one actually is in a flag pattern, or so it seems right now with a really nice drop breaking below major support lines. So how low can this one go? The answer is much lower. It could go down into the single digits again, been down there before don't know if it's going to happen but it certainly could earnings on pile of tears is also right around the corner just make sure that if you're in these names they can go lower and you do want to have some version of a protection starbucks getting really really smoked big pull down head and shoulders pattern on starbucks kind of like a complex head and shoulders pattern actually really strong neckline and we did break lower obviously starbucks will be fine long term and big picture, if you're looking at buying it, I think off of 86.20 could be a really nice level. Buy low, sell high, keeping your eye on Starbucks, letting it do its thing, and seeing how low we can get this would be quite intriguing to watch out for. The monthly chart, overall trend is doing its thing, and the daily chart, right, just slowly, slowly meandering a little bit lower, but wouldn't be aggressively shorting Starbucks right here. The good short would have been below this candle, which is the first bull candle closing below the 10. That would have been the place to short Starbucks for sure. Nice rotation down. Otherwise, wait, that one out. Google did announce the split, and it is bouncing very close to the 200 simple moving average. This is going to make for an exceptional next three days with this bull candle coming in below the 10 EMA on the daily and right at the 200 simple also on the daily. The gap did fill on Google. This could easily be a one, two, uh, let me try this a little bit better. One, two, three, or even an ABC. This is the spot where we will find out three or four more days from now, if Google takes out that low, expect some solid selling to come in and Google easily makes it way back into 2,400. Otherwise, 
this is a great spot to, like I said, keep a close eye on it and start finding out what's going to happen from here on Google. Facebook continuing its weakness, closing below the 200 simple on the weekly, taking out this high wave bullish candle is certainly not showing strength right now on Facebook. As it stays below the 200 simple on a weekly, I would continue to keep your eyes out for more of a short bias than a long bias. Now, again, if you are going long, just accumulate, right? Small share size, nothing too aggressive, nothing too fast. Be slow, be methodical. This is a huge, huge drop on Facebook. One of the biggest drops, no, I'm sorry, the biggest single day drop in market cap on any stock in history on Facebook over earnings. That will not end well. I do think we can easily go lower. Obviously, we don't have to, but if you're buying shares, just be very, very patient. And if you're playing it short, well, I think that's the overall direction right now. And then last but not least is Ethereum. Ethereum trying to post a little bit of a bullish bounce today. Let's see how this one closes today. If you do get a bull candle closing below the 10 and we take out that 10, that would be a good place to have some stop orders or look to bail if you need to. Otherwise, let this one get its thing, do its thing, make its movements, and just kind of hang out. Um, I'm going to change my target from all threes at this point, probably to 3,600. I did buy some Ethereum at all twos down here. So this will be an ultimate target for me. Could Ethereum be posting an inverted head and shoulders pattern? We'll find out probably in three or four days. Really, really good neckline on Ethereum and yeah, let's give it some time. I mean, if we can break above this neckline and we can get a really, really good close, that'd be fantastic. The weekly chart still has a lot of strength um, on, on the long-term moving averages, I should say, right? Long-term moving averages, we're still above those. Overall trend is still bullish. We are on a primary time frame making higher highs and higher lows. So in my opinion, just be patient. Don't actively be trading or aggressively be trading Ethereum unless, of course, you're doing it on a time frame like the three-hour chart and you're waiting for your bear candle to close with the 10 EMA, which we haven't gotten yet, but give it some more time. I think it certainly could and be watching Ethereum for some nice moves here in the next few weeks, either up or down. Ladies and gentlemen, you absolutely rock. Thanks so much for tuning into your Monday Real Life Stock Review. And until next time, love life, love life, and trade it. Bye.